they shared one of the stories that I had on Instagram, and it was about some old rolls of film that I found from, oh God, 94. And it was from the Fern Park Station here in Orlando. It was a Dio concert. You were playing a small club. One of my favorite memories. Was that one that was just really hot and sweaty? Blistering the AC. I remember that, night. that show. Now that you went, when you said Fern Park, when you said Orlando, yeah, I re and you said small club. I remember that. That was yeah, and it was a phenomenal show because of everybody was so. I think we were all in a, a heat stupor. It, we were, and it was it was funny because, and I, I told that story in in part of that lost rolls of film piece. Uh, it. It was so hot. It was normally hot because it was a small venue. It was a good venue, small venue. But that night, I think the AC broke. It did. And and the pictures I have of you later on in the show, it's it's well, everybody. I mean, everybody in the crowd, everybody. It was, yeah, literally. Uh, it was blistering hot. But, God, what a great show, man. That was, yeah. you know, and I, I've seen Dio a lot through the years and – going all the way back to, I think my first one was like in 85. Uh, that was actually one of my favorite lineups. And, and I get it because it was a small venue, but that lineup, there was something about it that was just, it was hitting on all cylinders. I couldn't agree more. I was very proud of that band. Live, live we just slayed. I mean, mm -hmm. we just slayed. Um, I mean, you know, obviously Ronnie's talent goes without question and mm -hmm. his ability as a front man. And you know, you really find out what a guy's made of when they have to deal with situations like the air conditioning breaks and you got to do a show like that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, a guy like Ronnie, what does he do? He delivers even more. So mm -hmm. um, Ronnie, unbelievable. Vinny, I love working with Vinny. Vinny's such an amazing drummer. And I felt like as a rhythm section, we were pretty top notch. <laughs> I mean, I really did feel on top of the world yeah. with that. And Tracy G, totally underrated as a guitarist. Agreed. Scott Warren, fabulous keyboard player. Yeah, we were we were a pretty rocking unit. You know, you know, it's for, um, uh, just real quick. While mm -hmm. we're talking about that Dio lineup, uh -huh. there is a video out um, that I've seen not that long ago, and it was that lineup at Hammersmith Odeon in London from 1993, uh -huh. and it is a phenomenal live video. I mean, I was floored no when I saw it because again, then I was reminded of how strong that band was. Mm -hmm. um, but if you get a chance, see that Dio at, I, I forget what it's called, but live at Hammersmith or something, 93. Something Is like it the that. whole show? It's the whole show. And it's phenomenal. It's, it's, it's one of the best. I mean, it's one of the most proud I've ever been of a live show and it is 100% live and it's amazing. You, you recorded with him. You guys toured with him when you were in Dawkin. Yeah. Um, and obviously you joined him afterwards and you just seem to have that relationship for quite a while. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, when when Dokken toured with Dio, which was 84 and 85, <clears throat> that was still, to this day, one of the best tours I've ever been on as far as camaraderie between bands. Um, I mean, I got that's when I got really close to Ronnie, Jimmy, uh, Vivian, Claude, the keyboard player. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and Vinny, of course. Um, that band, we just bonded. We just, everybody just connected and our crews connected it was just it was a really great tour i mean a lot of hanging out a lot of fun on that tour which was which was really special um we remained friends after that and you know after after um Dokken had broken up for a couple of years and and actually coincidentally i was working with don on what would become the dysfunctional record um when all of a sudden this would probably be early 93 i guess there's a knock on my door. It's in the afternoon. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for a guy to come and fix my sprinklers who's who's hours late. And I can't go anywhere until this guy comes. So I there's a knock at the door. I open the door and it's Ronnie and Vinny. Uh, and by the way, we all at that time, this was 93. We all lived in fairly close proximity to one another. Um, so it's not like it was a total shock. I mean, but, you know, we would go out. Isn't it a little bit of a shock to... Ronnie James Dio shows up in your doorstep. Yeah, I mean, well, a little bit. That's not that big a shock because we were friends and we'd go out to dinner. Okay, and, you know, that, okay. that would happen. But but it was kind of odd that it was in the afternoon like that. Okay. Um. So and and um, I was like, hey guys, what's up? And they said, wow, 
Jimmy didn't show again. You know, Jimmy was having problems at the time. And they said, so um, we just, we need to find another bass player. Do you know of anybody that could do it? And I said, yeah, me. <laughs> I, and they said, well, we've got our stuff set up down the street at this rehearsal place. And, you know, you, can we, can, let's go play. I said, well, I'm waiting on, on the sprinkler guy to fix my sprinklers. And they go, we'll do it. So Ronnie and Vinny, actually, no. Vinny is extremely handy. And so was Ronnie, by the way, but not as handy as Vinny. But so the two of them go outside and fix my sprinklers. Took took them all of a half hour, maybe. And they, they've fixed everything. They go, OK, you're up and running. And I'm like, cool. So screw that guy. <laughs> Let's go play. And we went and played. And then we started writing what became the uh, Strange Highways record. Which is another one of my favorites. That and is it, such it was a fantastic. At the time, it, over time, it's come to be, I think, great, better appreciated by by Dio Agreed. fans. But yeah, I, I'm still very proud of that record and the statement that that record made and the music that that was at that time. I think it, it still really holds up. I mean, if you hear it, it still holds up. So, yeah, I'm very proud of that. 